Occupy. How you doing, Occupy? <laughs> Come on, we're changing the country. How you doing, Occupy? <laughs> uh, I performed in Occupy Chicago, Occupy <laughs> D.C., Occupy Montreal, Occupy Asheville, North Carolina, <laughs> Madison, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And it's been fucking amazing to see the energy in this country spread. It's spread across the country like a, a, a rash at a nudist colony. It's been amazing, all right? So again, how you doing, Occupy? <laughs> it's incredible, because we're standing up against this bullshit that everyone in this country's looked at, and we, we just kind of put up with it like it was a Black Eyed Peas or song or something. We're like, well, it's going to be around for a while. Might as well pretend like we like it. I mean, that's really how it's worked. We, and, 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 you know, the same people that caused the 2008 collapse, they're richer than they've ever been, and now they're going after, they're, they're, they're going after fucking teachers' benefits and shit. Like, teachers are heroes. Teachers deal with those little shitheads all day long. They, they get paid less than the guy at the zoo in charge of making sure the hippos fuck. Really? You're gonna go after teachers? They're going after union benefits and unions. Look, even if unions have occasional problems, like any large entity, they're they're responsible for tiny, forgettable things like a weekend and like a nine to five if you have it, healthcare if you have it, getting getting kids out of the workplace is amazing because kids are shitty workers. They don't know what they're doing. They're hitting all kinds of buttons, lopping dudes' arms off. You're like, what do you mean you're only four years old? You've worked here two years. You should have this shit down by now. Right? Then they started their hit pieces, right, about, oh, it's only, it's dirty people down there. It's only dirty people. Yeah, well, you know, revolutions don't often take place by a 24-hour dry cleaner and an exfoliation station, all right? They're, they're not usually done over wine and cheese with your shoes off so as not to sully the carpet or the labradoodle, right? They're fucking dirty. That's what it is. And then they said, oh, it's only young people down there. It's only young people. Well, first of all, if you look at the marches, it's not only young people. It's every fucking different age, race, color, and creed. So yeah, if you look at the people sleeping, yeah, it's a lot of young people just because of back pain. It's not easy when you're older. You know, and it's, and yeah, yeah, you, well, here's another reason it should be young people that should be coming out. It's because we got to sit around in this shit for the next 70 years. All right? Who do you think has to... Who do you think has to sit here breathing the tainted air, eating the mutated fish, watching the fetid reality shit on TV, create a nation of malignant imaginations? It's us, all right? We got to sit here in this rancid bathwater, twiddling our thumbs and flicking our ding-dongs and going, hey, remember back when we could have changed this thing? We should have, like, done something. Remember that? And our, and our kids are going to ask us, where were you when this shit could have been changed? And what are you going to say if you didn't stand? Up. What you, well, uh, there was a popular video game with Angry Birds, and you would you would shoot the bird, and it would hit the bricks. It was really a lot of fun. You know, we've stood up against the greatest odds. I understand that a lot of the police are doing their jobs, but but some of them, there's got to be a little thought in the back of their head that's like, hey, maybe I should be arresting the, the, the bankers and the economic rapers rather than pummeling a 19-year-old with a henna tattoo trying to save the world with arts and crafts. You know, maybe that's not the best way to do it. They're arresting, arresting people for talking through bullhorns and drawing in chalk on sidewalks, and maybe that's how we can find arrest the bankers. Maybe if we trick them into talking through a bullhorn, we could finally arrest them for the shit they've done. You know, if the chant, if the chant was good enough, maybe they'd accidentally join in. Like, if it were like, go ahead and call us twats, we have credit default swaps. You know, then, maybe we could finally arrest them for something. And then, you know, when the New York Times finally decided to cover Occupy about a week in, their, one of their first articles said, oh, Occupy Wall Street is wreaking havoc on area bathrooms well god forbid you know it, it, really that's what you care about you care more about the harm done to area restrooms than the harm done to american people by by wall street titans and ceos who make charlie sheen's moral compass look like that of harriet tubman really that's what you're gonna go after
You know, this, this is a red revolution. This may not be a revolution in the traditional sense, but this is a revolution of the mind, all right? This is a thought revolution, and it's not going to be stopped by police barricades and pepper spray, ankle sprains. And pepper spraying us is like throwing water on gremlins. The more you do it, the more of us fucking show up. <laughs> That's what it is, and it's not, the revolution's not gonna wait until after your Pilates lesson and your fucking hair appointment, Tim, Tommy Tucker, titty tilt, all right? And then the revolution may not be televised as Gil Scott Heron told us, but it will be digitized and posted on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and anywhere real ideas are told, all right? So the revolution apologizes for shitting all over your apathy. Now pick a side. Thanks a lot, guys. Keep fighting, Sunday. Always transcending, fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.